Let's look now at setting up our input and outputs. For first, the inputs. One of the great things about the V1600 HD is its auto sensing ability. Typically, you just plug in your video source and the appropriate jack on the back, and if a signal is being received, the indicator above the particular channel button will light. If you want to adjust that image in some way, that's when we press the input button on the setup menu, and you will notice that the format is automatically displayed, whichever one that may be. Now you just press enter of the particular source that you're interested in changing, and that allows you to adjust many parameters, including the scaling, zoom, position, brightness, contrast, as well as how you want to deal with the aspect ratio and whether that's uh, full scale, letterbox, crop, squeeze, whatever your output format is. And going back to the input men menu now, you will notice that channels 9 and 10 uh, do not have selectable sources. Channels 1 to 8 are selectable between SDI and still image. Channels 11, 12 between RGB component and DVI, and HDMI. Channel 13 between composite and S-video, and channel 14 between a solid color and the still image. Simply select the format under the channel number and turn the value wheel to select between the two particular options. Even though channels 11 and 12 are shared between four different connectors, you can still connect all inputs and use the memory recall buttons to switch between, for example, channel 11 component source and channel 11 HDMI source. Now let's look at how to load a still image. We have a USB uh, flash key. We just connect it to the side here. And after connecting it, we go to page two of the system menu, down to parameter storage, press enter. And now we want to select the size that the particular USB uh, image will take, in this case, HD 720. And now hit the enter button beside the memory position you want to load. The flash drive is then accessed and the list of compatible bitmap files are showing. Now we select enter and the still image is now available for channel 14 or in fact any of channels 1 through 8. Let's look at setting up the output uh, bus now. What the output menu shows depends on what mode the system is set to. We'll talk about each of those modes later. First, select the output setup button. And in the typical DSK or AUX mode, you will find a menu page that allows setting the format and source assignment for each bus and output connector. By selecting enter under the program bus, you are then able to adjust the scaling, the zoom, position, brightness, contrast, saturation, RGB, color balance, and even edge blending. The input and output setup menus offer complete control of formatting, routing, positioning, and even color.